Practice scoring from all over the court in this game called seven spot shooting. Use a half court. Use cones to mark seven shooting spots. Two each at the short corners, inside the low post, and on the elbows. And one on the free throw line. Here's how it looks. Divide players into two teams lined up at each of the short corners with the ball. On your call, Ready, set, go. both teams start shooting, getting their own rebound and passing to the next teammate in line on each turn. Once they sink three buckets, they can advance to the next shooting spot on the court and try to make three more baskets. There you go, good. Move to the next spot right here, elbow. Good, keep shooting, y'all good. The first team to hit three shots from each of the seven shooting spots wins the round. Remember, great passes lead to great shots. After getting their own rebound, players should focus on making a crisp pass to the next teammate in line, setting them up to score. Good girls, winners, winners, good, good. Make it through a basketball obstacle course in this game we call Alley Hoops. Use a half court. Then, use cones to make two alleys, one from the baseline to half court, another from half court to the three-point line. Here's how it looks. Send half the team to each alley. Then, divide them into pairs. Every pair gets a ball. One pair at a time, one group starts on the baseline at the first alley while the other starts at half court at the second alley. On your call, go! Play starts simultaneously in both alleys. In the first alley, the offensive player must make it from the baseline to the half court line without getting turned around by the defender. In the second alley, the offensive player starts at half court with the ball and tries to score on the defender. Players continue in a loop, switching roles each time through. Remind defenders to stay within arm's reach of the ball. Encourage them to prevent the offense from dribbling down the center of the alley by pressuring them to the edges. Players go head-to-head -head in this dribbling game we call stunt drivers. Use a half-court size space. Then, place two cones across from each other for every two players on your team. Here's how it looks. Divide the team into pairs with partners facing each other from the cones. Everyone gets a ball. On your call, each pair starts dribbling towards each other, using their right hands. Just before colliding, players perform their stunt move to get around their partner and make it to the other side. Once they've made it across, players turn around and repeat as many times as they can in one minute. To start, make the stunt move a simple crossover, quickly moving the ball from one hand to the other. Then, once players get the hang of it, up the challenge and introduce harder dribbling moves like through the legs or behind the back. Players go from offense to defense and back again in this game we call Switch Up. We're using a half court here, but this game works on a full court too. Use cones to create two rectangles and mark the halfway line on each one. Here's how it looks. Divide players into groups of three and send each group to a rectangle. Within each group, player one stands at one end, ready to receive a pass from player two standing in the middle with the ball. Player three stands at the other end of the rectangle as a passing target. On your call, go! Player one uses quick dribbling to try to get past player two. Once they cross the halfway line, they can pass to player three. Then player one switches to defend player three who tries to pass to player two. Play short one minute rounds as players rotate from passer to defender to passing target. Basketball is a game of quick transitions. The offense should be ready to switch to defense at any time and vice versa. Encourage defenders to close out quickly. Keep moving good, close out. Sprinting towards the offensive player and getting low with their hand in the air. Three, two, one, good job, let's go, bring it in. Players practice making the extra pass and finding open teammates in this game called Good Shot, Great Shot. Use a half court, then use cones to place shooting spots around the floor, about 10 feet apart from each other. You'll need as many cones as you have offensive players. Here, we're using four. Here's how it looks. Divide players into two groups, offense and defense. 
This game requires more offensive players than defenders. We're playing four on three here. When you inbound the ball, the ball handler can either shoot or pass as they look for an open shot, but they cannot dribble. Here's where you come in. When a shot goes in, you decide if it was a good shot or a great shot. If the shooter was contested by a defender, it's a good shot worth one point. If they were wide open, it's a great shot worth two. Play short rounds about a minute long, then have teams swap roles. Because the offense has an extra player, there will always be an open teammate to pass to. Sometimes it takes a pass or two to find the open shot. Remind players to find the best shot for the team, not the best shot for themselves. One, two, three. Let's go. Players practice reacting quickly and making clutch shots in this high energy game called quick draw. Use a half court, then use cones to create three triangles, one at the free throw line and two on the lane lines. Players line up in groups of two, three, or four at the top of each triangle. The first player in each line has a ball. First group, right hand, pound it. They start dribbling in place. When you call out a direction, left, they must dribble to the corresponding cone and pull up for a shot. They get their own rebound and pass to the next player waiting at the top of each triangle. Go right. The first player to make a basket on each turn gets a point. Whoever has the most points after one minute wins the round. While they're waiting for you to call the direction, good girls, good girls. players should stay light on their toes and pound the ball into the ground using only their fingertips. This will help them explode quickly in either direction while controlling the ball. Remind players that even though this game moves fast, they should still use proper shooting form. Balanced feet, eyes on the basket, elbow tucked in with the full follow through and wrist snap. Good job, you two. Good job. Give the offense an advantage and keep defenders on their toes in this game we call Surprise Party. Use a half court and place cones at the elbows extended. Here's how it looks. Divide players into two groups lined up at each cone. Pass the ball to the second player in one of the lines. They become offense and the player in front of them becomes defense. The player on offense holding the ball places it on the defender's back. When they lift it off, play begins, with the offense getting a head start. Play until the offense scores or the defense gets to stop. Then pass the ball to the second player in the other line and play again. The offense has a big advantage here. Give the defense a better chance to catch up by telling them to lower into ready position. Knees bent and weight placed on their toes. This will help them explode as quickly as possible. Oh, yes. Hope you like house chores, because we're cleaning the glass. This is Rebound Relay. Use a half court, then place two cones on the three-point line. Here's how it looks. Divide the group into two teams lined up at each cone. You stand at the free throw line with the ball. The first player in each line starts standing underneath the basket. The game begins when you shoot the ball and miss on purpose. The two players under the basket compete to grab the rebound. Put the ball back up and score. The first player to score gets a point. They then run to the back of their lines and the next two players are up. Play until everyone in each line gets a turn. Whichever team has the most points wins the round. Players will have more success securing the rebound if they remember to box out, positioning themselves between their opponent and the basket, hips bent, feet wide, and arms outstretched. When they have space, they can pivot and lay it in for a point, like that. The action never stops in this small-sided game we call staying power. Use a full court. Here's how it looks. Divide the group into at least three equal teams of two to five players, seen here in blue, black, and white. If you have a bigger group, make more teams and line them up at each baseline, waiting to rotate in. Send one team to half court with the ball and the other two teams to each end of the floor. 
On your call, the team in the middle becomes offense and takes on one of the other teams. If the defense gets a rebound or stop, they immediately become offense and dribble up the court to face the next team. If the team with the ball scores, they get their own rebound and dribble to the opposite end of the court to play again with the team waiting under that basket. The team with the most points after five minutes wins the round. A small-sided game is a kind of scrimmage focused on developing a specific skill or tactic. Here, we're working on playing in transition, switching quickly from offense to defense and vice versa. In the actual game, when the defense recovers the ball, they must immediately spring into action and get the ball down the court. This is called a fast break and helps the offense keep the numbers on its side. Mojo. Players practice their X's and O's in this small-sided game we call tic-tac-toe. Use a half court. In a separate space, use 16 cones to create a small tic-tac-toe board. Then leave two piles of different color markers for each team next to the board. You can use water bottles, cones, or pennies. Here's how it looks. Divide players into two equal teams of three, four, or five. One on offense, one on defense. Play starts when the team on defense checks the ball to the team on offense, initiating a scrimmage with a twist. Every time one team scores, one of their players must run to the tic-tac-toe board and drop their marker in one of the squares. A small-sided game is a kind of scrimmage focused on developing a specific skill or tactic. Here, players practice thinking strategically while playing two games at once, basketball and tic-tac-toe. <laughs> yeah, Sophia! This means it's essential to focus, communicate, and be tactical, just like in the actual game.